Okay, so we will now be talking about difference of two squares and uh, it's called difference of two squares because as you can see here, we have two terms here and each of these terms can actually be expressed in squares and muna gitawag na to siya og two squares. Okay, so ang kada isa ka term ani nila, pwede na to ma-raise the power of two. And then basically, the operation in between is always subtraction or minus. So, muna gitawag siya difference. No? So, minus kanunay ang naa sa tunga ana niya. Now, how are we going to factor this kind of polynomials? The first step is to get the square root of each term. Uh, the, the concept square root has been discussed to you when you are still in your grade 7. And if you need to recall more of this concept, please uh, check out video lessons. Of course, in my channel, you can also find a video lesson about square root on that one. And uh, let's now start with the first term. For the 4x squared, ang atong buhaton manggudani is dapat si 4x squared ato ni siyang ma-change into a form that is still equal to 4x squared pero kanang tanan sila is raised to the power of 2. Kaya kung makita ninyo danhi, ang naka raised to the power of 2 is only the variable x. So kinalan ma-appeal si 4. And that means this would be equals to 2x raised to the power of 2. Si 2x gid mismo ang raised to the power of 2. Now, how are we able to get this one? Because if we get the square root of 4x squared, this is actually equals to positive or negative 2x. Uh, by the way, another thing that you have to remember when we talk about square root, square roots always have two values. One is a positive and one is a negative. So, ayun na ninyo kalimti because in problem solving, uh, it's a very important concept that we, we will always be using every now and then. But then, uh, kung makita ninyo, ang positive ra nga root ang atong gigamit. For difference of two squares, we will just always use the positive roots. Okay? We just have to use the positive roots when we are do, uh, doing a factoring of difference of two squares. So, ang negative 2x wala na nato gamita. Ang ato rang gigamit is ang positive 2x. So, since ang square root sa 4x squared is positive negative 2x, we use the positive root. That means the IC 4x squared, pwede na nato siya ma-raise. Uh, we can actually express that into the square of 2x. Now, going to our second term, again, si 9, kinhangla nato ni siya ma-express into a power of 2 that is still equals to 9. And that would be equals to 3 raised to the power of 2. And again, nga nun naka, nga nun nakakuha taani nga value because if we get the square root of 9, that is equals to positive or negative of 3. And again, we use the positive root. Uh, we uh, Just forget the negative root for difference of 2 squares. No, always Just always use the positive roots for that one. So in here, we are able to already extract the square root and... Uh, actually, we can now go to the second step. Now, the second step is to get the factors from the square root of each term. So, asa man ang mga square root, ani nga mga terms. So, first term, our square root is this one. So, as you can see, ang root is katung ubus sa power of 2. Okay? So, ang root sa 4x squared is 2x. And of course, ang root sa 9 is 3. So, if you can see here, if we will have to understand this, ang mga roots na to, makuha na to na siya, ubus sa power of 2. Now, from there, accordingly, maghimo na daw tag mga factors. And the first factor is the sum of these two roots. So, we have 2x plus 3. Muna ang iyahang first factor. Okay? Mag-i-plus lang ni muna silang dua, si 2x o si 3. And then, ang sunod, ang difference of the two roots. So, we have 2x minus 3. And that would actually become the final answer. So, basically, kung nakabalo lang ka unsa na ang root sa first term o unsa ang root sa second term, the positive roots, no? Again, we are only using the positive roots. We just simply get the sum and difference of that and those will become the factors of, uh, for this particular uh, example, the factors of 4x squared minus 9 then is 2x plus 3 and 2x minus 3.
Now we go to our second example and we have here 25x squared minus 81. Again, these two terms can be expressed as uh, squares and we will now get the square root of each of these terms. So we start with 25x squared and that can actually be expressed as 5x raised to the power of 2. The entire 5x raised to the power of 2. Again ha, ang ato yung main, main focus or main goal is to make it sure nga ang kada term ang maris na to sa power of 2 ang tanan. Dili lang kay ang isa or ang variable or ang number but ang tanan yun. So basically for 25x squared ang iyahag yung form ani nga atong gapangitaon is this one 5x which is raised to the power of 2. And again because if we get the, the square root of 25x squared that is actually equals to the positive and negative of 5x. And again uh, duha unta ni siya ang yang root but ato lang gamiton ang positive root so we have here positive 5x now let's go to 81 81 can be expressed as 9 squared because if we get the square root of 81 that's actually positive or negative of 9 and we use again the positive root so after doing this after expressing each term into a power of 2 the next step would be the factors. Getting the factors from the square root. And again, atong nabaw ano nga ang mga factors, I mean, ang mga root is actually katong ubus sa power of 2. So that means the root of 25x squared is 5x and the root of 81 is 9. So from these two positive roots, we will now make uh, two factors. The first factor is the sum of these two roots and the second factor is the difference of these two roots. So that means our final answer here, here is 5x plus 9 and 5x minus 9.